Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss Fresnel diffraction. And I have to clear you the pronunciation of this uh, word. It is actually not Fresnel. It is Fresnel. The S is silent. So it is called Fresnel diffraction. So here as you can see uh, we have a source of light an obstacle and a screen and the source of light is passing through the obstacle as we have studied in the video of diffraction that is diffraction is the bending of light through the corners of the obstacle and in that Fresnel diffraction is that where the distance of the source of light and obstacle is finite and the distance of the obstacle and screen is finite. So in this type of diffraction the source of light or the screen are at finite distances from the slit that is the obstacle. So the scientist who performed this experiment first was the French physicist named Fresnel. And that is why this phenomenon is known as Fresnel diffraction. Now let's see the properties for Fresnel diffraction. Or you might say the conditions required to uh, occur the phenomena of Fresnel diffraction. So the first point is wavefront must be cylindrical or spherical. And then the source of light and screen are at finite distance. And no lens are used. Since they are already at finite distance, so we can uh, get the image of the uh, ray on the screen. So that is why no lens are required. And for from exam point of view, if uh, the question is asked that uh, write the definition for frontal diffraction, you can write it as when any wave or light rays strike on any obstacle or medium, the light rays bends from the edges or corners of the obstacle. And this is called Fresnel diffraction. Uh, one point you might add in the definition that the source and screen must be at finite distance. You can add this point here. That is the source and screen must be at finite distance. Because this is the main point for Fresnel diffraction. If you uh, don't mention this point, the whole uh, phenomena is not defined well. So I hope this is uh, clear to you. The What is the uh, basic condition for Fresnel diffraction. There are some extra topics that is Fresnel's half period zone, zone plate etc. We will discuss those uh, topics further in the next video. Thank you for watching.